Let's say I want to design a targeted CRISPR screen that's just focused on a few hundred genes that are important to me, as opposed to doing a whole genome-wide screen. So I start first with my gene list, and here I've taken a list of all the G protein coupled receptors in the human genome. There's a little over 700 of these. And I start with this gene list and can just drag and drop the file right into Quilt here. And this will load up onto my home page. Start out at zero rows, but it'll fill in. So I'll click here to look at this table. And what you're going to see is my gene list in this first row in the gene column. And what I want to do is join this up to a publicly available genome-wide screen and just select out or match on the genes that I want to study. So I'm going to do a one-to-many here because there's uh, for each one gene there's many guide RNAs to design from there. And I'll select gene here and in this right table there are a number of publicly available CRISPR design tables that are derived from genome-wide screens that have been published and are in the literature. And for my purposes, I'm going to use uh, Feng Zhang's lab's uh, Gecko library that is a, uh, utilizes a cutting CRISPR for all the genes in the human genome. And I'm going to match here on the gene column. So I'll hit match, and what will happen is that these uh, genes will start to get matched up with designed guide RNAs. And what you're going to see is for each gene you'll have a, a guide RNA and you'll have a number of them. This is why it's one to many. And then you'll have the guide RNA sequence here. This is a 20 mer But then over here you'll have other sequences that are targeted towards the actual cloning process of making this library. So this goes into a little bit more uh, detail here, but when you have your guide RNAs and you just order them as oligos, and in this case you would be ordering them in 96 well plates. You get them uh, as forward and reverse, and they match up here. Or you could get them as a uh, chip synthesized oligo, a very long 74 base pair oligo here. And each of these has either the guide RNA sequence or the reverse complement. And that's what you're seeing here in this file here on Quilt, is for each of these genes, you have um, the oligos here that you can use to start cloning your library. So now that you've generated this file, you can uh, share this with others or you can export it for your future use.